uh, so hi everyone today we'll try to understand what is fast text a text vectorization algorithm that is used to generate uh, numerical embeddings for given words set of words so uh, i'm assuming that you have seen my last a uh, few last videos or you know about cbao and how skip gram works if you not you can just go back and watch it out so uh, because we would need that uh, so fast text can be taken as a hybrid model that combines both cbao and skip gram uh, so in case of fast text uh, so if you remember about cbao what we were doing is that we were taking multiple neighboring words and then feeding it to a neural network and eventually trying to predict one word in case of skip gram we were taking one neighboring word at a time uh, feeding it to a neural network and eventually trying to forecast uh, try to predict one uh, target word now in case of fast text what we are doing is that uh, assume that we have an example you are naughty but kind now in case of this uh, let m equals to what well, assume that uh, we are uh, we are trying to forecast the word but in case of uh, when m equals to 1 our neighbors become naughty and kind uh, as we are considering one neighbor from both the side when uh, m equals to 1 uh, if m equals to 2 then we have to consider two neighbors from left hand side two neighbors from right hand side right now in case of fast text what we are trying to do is ki uh, the model that is getting followed is actually cbao but the ideas of skip gram so what we are doing is that we are feeding in just one neighboring word and trying to predict the uh, target word as we have fed naughty and then got but and we have fed kind but uh, and got but uh, like as an output but eventually we, uh, the one word that we are using as an input gets broken down into small chunks into small n character grams so uh, setting n grams equals to 3 grams what we are trying to do is that we are breaking this word into multiple chunks now uh, first of all we will be adding two new tokens to each neighboring word that is this arrow heads uh, this less than and greater than signs at the end of each word and now we will be breaking them out so if you look at the example naughty gets broken into uh, less than sign na then nau and aug ugh gst so these are n characters that are getting followed so you can see N A U, A U G, U G H, G H T. These are a uh, the group of three characters that is getting formed that are forming uh, for uh, for falling consecutively in the word, and also the whole word, a uh, whole whole word as it is. Now all these new chunks that are formed and the new and the word itself combined together and are fed together into this neural network and to predict. Uh, the word but similar in case of kind uh, we have associated less than and greater than sign on each of its side and we have formed n correct uh, three characters gram that is less than sign k i uh, k i n i n d n d greater than sign so you can see you can make i can interpret it also the whole uh, the word as whole as it is also and then we are feeding it into uh, a new layer and eventually the hidden layer and then we are trying to predict our word so the architecture that is getting followed is of cbao that is we are uh, inputting multiple uh, multiple word chunks and we are trying to predict with just one word but if you look in the whole so we are just feeding in one word and we are getting one word as an output so that is something coming from scribram that is a fast text is a hybrid of both of them